News has broken that on the morning of May 12th, Azerbaijani forces claiming to be carrying out border demarcation works crossed the Armenia-Azerbaijan state border in the southern region of Sunik. This was reported by the Armenian Defense Ministry. After measures taken by the Armenian subdivisions, the Azerbaijani military halted their work. Negotiations are underway to resolve the situation, the Defense Ministry said in a statement. The Defense Ministry furthermore dispelled reports that clashes had taken place in the area of Ishkhanasar, stating that such reports do not correspond to reality. We urge people to refrain from publishing unverified, panic-spreading information, the statement read. The deputy mayor of the southern town of Goris, Irina Yolyan, wrote on Facebook that Azerbaijani soldiers had advanced three kilometers into Armenia proper, towards the village of Verishen. They came and stood miles away from Lake Sev. They are lined up in their hundreds. At the moment, they are negotiating, she wrote. Later, reports emerged that Russian peacekeepers had arrived in the vicinity. Suvonet's team set off to Sunik to cover the story on the ground. The human rights defender of Armenia, Armen Tatoyan, urged people to not spread misinformation regarding the situation in Sunik. The situation with the borders in Sunik has been under the direct attention of the human rights defender since early morning, Tatoyan stated. He added that issues related to the border are clearly of great public interest and that the public has the right to receive complete, clear and reliable information about the situation. He encouraged the authorities to make every effort to disseminate official information as widely as possible to eliminate the spread of misinformation. And Georgian Prime Minister Irakli Garibashvili has arrived in Yerevan. He was greeted by Armenian Deputy Prime Minister Tigran Avinyan. Garibashvili will hold talks with Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan, who will also host an official dinner for the Georgian Premier. And Freedom House, a human rights non-profit organization, has issued a statement on the cases of violence against Armenian POWs. Freedom House's Europe and Eurasia program director stated the following, We urge Azerbaijan to closely support the efforts of the European Court of Human Rights to investigate the validity of allegations of inhumane treatment of Armenian POWs, regardless of their status, as a party to the European Convention on Human Rights. Azerbaijan is obliged to cooperate closely with the court and provide all the necessary information to ensure a transparent investigation. And 14,000 more doses of the Sputnik V coronavirus vaccine have arrived in Armenia. This was reported by the Armenian Health Ministry. An earlier batch of the first jab doses arrived previously, again numbering 14,000. Armenia is currently administering the Sputnik V, AstraZeneca and CoronaVac vaccines amongst the Armenian population. And finally, as a nationwide drive takes place to promote cycling in Armenia, in Abovyan, the Nairi Racing Club is teaching young people the benefits of cycling. Others have come from the US to encourage people in Armenia towards this sport and mode of transport.